Hey guys, we're back with some more calculations for you. Um, so, when you're looking for magnification, remember magnification is equal to image over actual. So really we want to know how much bigger or smaller than the actual thing is my image. So here I have a very technical drawing um, of a girl who is five foot nine inches. Um, now we don't do inches in biology, we use the metric system, so if you convert that it's about, oops, that should be a five, 175 centimeters. Um, so approximately 175 centimeters. If I want to know the magnification of this image, Again, I'm going to plug those values into my formula. So this 175 is going to be my actual. So I want to know magnification. I know the actual is 175 centimeters. I'm going to use my handy dandy ruler to determine what I'm working with. So that looks to be about 4.5 centimeters um, or 45 millimeters. So 4.5 centimeters. So now I am going to plug that in. So 4.5 divided by 175. And that's going to give me a magnification of 0 0.02571 something. Um, since I only have two significant digits here, I'm going to round that to 0.026x. So that would be the magnification. Now you may notice that this is less than 1, but that actually makes sense because in this case, my image is much smaller than the actual thing. So always kind of ask yourself those questions. Does my answer make sense? What is that actually saying? All right, so we're going to look at a couple of other examples of things that you might need to calculate. One of them, let's see if I can make this visible without the glare. Well, that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. So here is an image of a euglena. Now, I don't know how big the euglena actually is. And I want to figure out what's the magnification of this particular image. So again, I have my magnification equals image over actual. But how do I figure out what I'm working with? Well, in a lot of images, micrographs or pictures, you'll get a scale bar. You might see those on maps as well. That scale bar is what you're going to use as your actual. So again, that scale bar is going to be the actual value because they're telling you that for this image, the actual is equal to 10 micrometers. So what I'm going to do for the magnification, so the actual here is 10 micrometers. I want to know what about the image. So again, I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to actually measure it. And in this case, I get 9 millimeters. So the image of the scale bar is equal to 9 millimeters. The actual, their 
they're telling me is 10 micrometers. And now I need to calculate the magnification. So before I do anything, I need to make sure that my units are all the same. So I'm going to go to millimeters. So I'm going to divide this by a thousand. So I'm going to move it one, two, three places. So that's nine millimeters divided by point zero one millimeters. And so my value would be nine divided by point zero one gives me 900x. So that is my magnification. Well, that tells me how much magnification I have here, but that's not telling me really how big the euglena is. So if I really wanted to know, I can go and do a little bit more calculating. So I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to measure the length of the euglena. So I'm getting 55 millimeters. So 55 millimeters is going to be the length of the image. And I know the magnification. That was 900x. What I really want to know is the actual. So you can rearrange this formula, or you can use your little triangle, the I am triangle. I know image and magnification. What I'm trying to figure out is the actual. And so it's image divided by magnification. So again, 55 millimeters divided by 900 will give me 0 0.061 millimeters. If I want to look at that in micrometers, I would multiply that by 1,000. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 61 micrometers. And if I look at my picture and I think about it, if that's the scale bar and that's 10, does that look like it's about six of those? Yes. And so now I can actually kind of make that distinction. So I'm going to do one more with you. We're going to look at some baker's yeast. Not actual baker's yeast, but one of these cool pictures. Um, and I'm going to do my, my measuring here. So again, if I want to know the magnification, that's my first step is to figure that out. I'm going to start with the scale bar because that's always kind of what's going to give me the information I need. It's a known value. So in this case, the actual is five micrometers. And I'm going to measure that and it is approximately 21 millimeters. Next step is to convert so that these are the same unit. So last time I went to millimeters, this time I'll go to micrometers. So in order to convert the millimeters to micrometers, there's a thousand micrometers in a millimeter. So I'm going to multiply that by a thousand. So it would be 21,000 micrometers divided by five micrometers. So 21,000 divided by five. And I get 
my magnification is equal to 4,200 or 4,200. If I want to be really good about my sig figs, I'm going to round that to 4,000 X. So if I want to know the approximate size of one of these yeast cells, I can go in and I can measure it, right? So now I know my magnification and I want to know how big that actual yeast cell is. So I am going to measure it and it is 23 millimeters. So the yeast is approximately 23 millimeters. So I'm measuring it from the picture, so that is going to be equal to my image. I know my magnification is 4000 X. I want to know the actual. So it's image divided by magnification gives me the actual size of a yeast cell approximately based on that. And so I have 23 divided by 4,000. Gives me 0 0.00575 and because this was in millimeters, this is millimeters. If I want to put that in micrometers, remember there's a thousand micrometers in a millimeter. So if I'm going to the smaller unit, I need to make this bigger. One, two, three, five point seven five micrometers or micrometers, however you want to say it. So if I look here, does that seem right? Yeah, that's about the same size. So that is a reasonable calculation. So I hope that was helpful. You're going to have a few different practice assignments to do with this. Um, I'm always happy to do some more examples, so if you get stuck, let me know.